Gumi. What is up, guys? Steven here, and today I'm gonna bring you some VGC. Um, VGC is something that I always have like on and off interest with. Um, I think it's more interesting than doubles, just because it's you know what Nintendo wants you to play, which isn't necessarily a good thing. But it's kind of interesting to see what their idea of a, a competitive meta game is. And uh, we're bringing you two games. Uh, I'll go over my team real quick. I have Assault Vest Yevatol. I don't know if that's good, but I have it. <laughs> I am a bulky Scald uh, over Origin Pulse, uh, Primal Kyogre, uh, Trick Room Bronzong. Uh, I have three shields, well, three shields, Smeargle, so I have Crafty Shield, Spiky Shield, and Wide Guard, and of course Dark Void because it, it can put both opponents to sleep. Uh, Tailwind. Uh, Salamence, so I can go with either Trick Room or Tailwind depending on matchup. And finally Ferrothorn because I wanted something that uh, could kind of beat opposing rain matchups. Uh, and I didn't want to use... Uh, I didn't want to use something that... I wanted to use something that benefited from Trick Room basically, so Ferrothorn made sense and I've always had success using Ferrothorn in VGC. So, uh, the first match is against uh, a core, they call it a core, but the big six, uh, which is uh, basically this year's chalk, um, it's literally this team, like these six mons, it's called the big six, it's been doing really well in a lot of like regionals and, and all of those, and uh, you can obviously see why there's a lot of threatening Pokemon, uh, and it's just very offensive. Uh, that's kind of why I like Trick Room in this meta, is that you're you're bulky, so you can take a lot of attacks uh, better and, and be well prepared to beat these these kind of big six teams. So uh, against these kind of teams, uh, Smeargle Salamence is a really really safe lead, uh, so I know that's what I want to lead, and. Uh, I basically have to decide what I want to bring in the back. I'm going to bring uh, at least one Steel type. Uh, I chose Bronzong because uh, it does really well against uh, Primal Groudon if the if I can get the rain up. Uh, so I'm obviously bringing Kyogre as well because I can't touch it with fire type attacks and obviously it is immune to uh, Precipice Blades because it has Levitate. And if I'm being cheeky, I can uh, skill swap, uh, levitate onto my primal Kyogre, and really put my opponent in a bad position. And Bronzing, of course, beats uh, Ments and Xerneas as well. So he's going to lead with his Kanga and his Smeargle, and like I said, I'm going to lead Smeargle Ments. So this is nice, because I actually get the Intimidate off on the Kangaskhan. And... Uh, a play that I would have to be worried about if he had led something like Talonflame is um, me going for the double protect and then him side pupping into his uh, into his own Talonflame or Ments. Uh, but since he led Smeargle, uh, that most likely means that he's the Sash or the Scarf variant, and um, he's most likely just going to be firing off Dark Voids. And he wouldn't want, uh, he probably thinks he's in a pretty safe position to do that because uh, nothing on my team outspeeds Scarf Smeargle that's on the field right now, uh, especially since I'm uh, obviously a Trick Room team. Uh, and the likelihood of him side pupping his own Smeargle is just really, really low. Or making a switch and side pupping is very uh, risky. So I am just going to double protect turn one. Uh, and by that I'm going to spiky shield with, with Smeargle, of course. And uh, he fakes out into Ments and goes for Dark Void, which obviously I block. So uh, this next turn is pretty interesting. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure he's Scarf. 
And the biggest threat to me really is that Kanga, because it most likely does have power up punch, and uh, sucker punching Bronzong um, and is bad. And it also outspeeds uh, Ogre and can do some big damage. Uh, so what I'm going to do is Smeargle is Crafty Shield, uh, which blocks Dark Void uh, for both of my Mons. I'm going to double edge the Kanga just to try to get damage. So of course he gets his Moody. Uh, and, and like I said, I'm going to Crafty Shield and he turns out to uh, to not be Scarf Smeargle, which tells me he's Sash. And uh, I do just Crafty Shield and, and block that. So he gets speed uh, from Moody. So in this position, I have a very, 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 very safe play. I'm just going to Crafty Shield again. Uh, if you don't know what it does, uh, I believe it blocks like any non-damaging, like any non-damaging attack that targets one of your Pokemon. So stuff like Taunt, Thunder Wave, uh, of course Dark Void, um, I think even Leech Seed. It blocks all of that. Uh, so Smeargle normally doesn't carry an attack other than maybe Fake Out. Uh, so I'm very safe to just click Crafty Shield again. And I can Hyper Voice uh, because Sucker Punch doesn't kill Mints from here and it definitely picks off the Kanga from here. Uh, so I'm not too concerned about that. As like I said, I'm just gonna Crafty Shield again. See Dark Voids and uh, yeah, that does a lot to the Smeargle. Uh, so once again, he got speed, uh, so I'm just going to make the same exact play, because uh, I still think it puts me in the best position, just Crafty Shield, and uh, Black Dark Void yet again, and can fire out a Hyper Voice, so that was really nice. So he's going to go back into Kanga, and this is somewhat of a problem, because he has a couple plays he can make. He can power up punch my Smeargle to get plus one and Geomancy, um, or he can fake out the Ments and Geomancy, uh, so it's really a 50-50. Uh, but what I'm actually going to end up doing here is just going directly into my Bronzong and uh, Spiky Shielding with Smeargle. Uh, so the reason I did that is because um, I know for certain next turn I can uh, really keep the pressure on with Smeargle, because it would force him to Dazzling Gleam, uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens with that next turn. So he does Fake Out into Smeargle uh, and Geomancy, and now I Wide Guard and I actually block the Dazzling Gleam, which does matter because he crit my Bronzong with Return, and I don't think I would have lived that. Of course I just take out the Xerneas. So now he goes into Groudon, and I have a couple plays. Um, if I remember correctly, I don't have Protect on my Bronzong. I might have Protect. Uh, no, I do have Protect. Uh, so I'm going to go into Ogre and Protect Bronzong because it's just really safe. Um, and it basically means that Bronzong just walls the crap out of uh, Kanga. He does return into Bronzong. And Rock Slide, which he misses on the Ogre, which obviously doesn't really matter. So now I can just protect Kyogre, um, and obviously that's not going to work for him. Take out the Kanga, and since I do have Scald, uh, I just win. So, yeah, that was a good game, and let's get on to the next one. So, again, facing a Xerneas uh, Kanga Groudon core. Uh, but they look to have a bit more of a focus on speed control. Uh, I mean, by that I mean they have uh, Thunderous, which most certainly carries Thunder Wave. Uh, Trick Room Cresselia, and the reason I say Trick Room is because they also have an Amoongus. Uh, so they probably have a similar setup to me, where they can either choose to go fast by like Thunder Waving things and trying to outpace them, or they can go slow with the uh, bulkier sets and, um, and Trick Room. So looking at this matchup, I'm kind of scared of the Cress. Um, I really wanted to make sure that I had something for Cress. Uh, so I ended up leading with Yevatol uh, Salamence uh, because I figured that worst case I get the Intimidate on 
uh, on stuff like Kanga, and then I can really pressure the opponent with um, a steal in the back on Xerneas if that's uh, one of the leads. Uh, Thunderous is kind of annoying, uh, so I end up bringing uh, Ferrothorn instead of Bronzong because it does better at beating Thundi in this tier because they don't carry Focus Blast for sure. And uh, yeah, and my last is of course Ogre because they have a Groudon. So I need Ogre to protect my Pharaoh. So yeah, let's get into it. Uh, they just lead uh, with Thundee and Xerneas, so this is not really good at all. Um, Xerneas can potentially just fire off a Dazzling Gleam turn 1, uh, but I am AV of it all, so I really just eat that up. And he of course doesn't know that I'm AV. Uh, I'm fairly certain that there's going to be some sort of Thunder Wave coming out from Thundee, so I'm trying to... Uh, make the safest play as possible, so I'm going to uh, Dark Pulse the Thunders uh, because I know I can live and no matter what get damage off on Thundee. And uh, switching in Ferrothorn on a T-Wave is of course not a bad thing as it just makes my Gyro Ball even stronger. And I can uh, threaten the Xerneas, so yeah that's what I'm actually going to do. Uh, going to Pharaohs, he does T-Wave that slot which is nice. And Geomancy's turn 1, because uh, that's a Xerneas, and uh, I crit him, which doesn't really matter, as uh, he gets Citrus. So this next turn, I'm still fairly certain that I can live a plus 2 Dazzling Gleam. I don't think that... <laughs> I don't actually know the EVs for that. Uh, I, it wasn't something that I took care of in team building, because I just... I'm not very experienced in VGC, so I hadn't really thought about it as a situation until I got into this game. Uh, so I really just thought that the the Thunderous would would T bolt Pharaoh or T bolt Yevatol, uh, and go and go for a Dazzling Gleam, or even a Protect on Xerneas, uh, plus like T bolting Pharaoh. So. Uh, I'm going to Sucker Punch the Thundee and Gyro Ball the Xerneas. I need to get rid of that Xerneas because it's a huge threat. So he actually just Thunder Waves you all. Uh, so my Sucker Punch obviously doesn't work. And when he clicked Hidden Power, I was scared. But it ended up being HP Ground, I'm assuming, for Heatran, which isn't too terribly common in this format because um, both Primals beat it. Um, so that was actually really good for me because... I was able to take out the Xerneas, which threatened my Ments and my Yevatol. So now he goes into Groudon, and this is kind of a weird play because um, I really I want to play safe, and what I mean by that is that I obviously need Pharaoh for this Thundee and potentially the Kanga in the back. Um, and I don't care as much about Yevatol, because it's done its job in terms of hitting Thundee. And I really, really don't anticipate him uh, Thunderbolting the Ferrothorn slot. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is switch Ferrothorn directly into Ogre. And I believe uh, Sucker Punch the Thunderous, expecting a T-Bolt onto Yevatol. So that's the play I make. And uh, he swaggers, so of course my Sucker Punch isn't going to work anyway as I just hit myself. So this is starting to get pretty annoying, uh, just in terms of not being able to, That Thunderous is just punishing my team. And I'm regretting not bringing Smeargle, because as we saw in the last game, uh, Crafty Shield can really work well in tandem with something uh, that appreciates not being paralyzed, which is everything by the way. Uh, because that basically allows me to uh, play more intelligently around para, whereas now I'm more relying on the RNG. So this turn I'm just going to Dark Pulse Thunderous trying to take it out and also Ice Beam Thunderous. Uh, there's no way that Groudon stays in here. Um, T-Bolt plus uh, Precipice Blades doesn't even take out bulky 
um, doesn't even take out bulky Kyogre and Water Spout from I think like 5% HP, Oko's Groudon anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna Ice Beam Thundee and I believe Dark Pulse Thundee. Or no, I actually switched into Mints. Why did I do that again? Oh yeah, because it counters. Um, I wanted to get the Intimidate for Precipice Blades. But he actually ended up switching into Kanga, which was fine too. And uh, I got swaggered on Ogre and I hit myself, so I did not get to take out the Thunders. Now this turn, um, I'm going to switch uh, Ogre into um, Ferrothorn no matter what. The reason for that is I need to make sure I win the Weather War, uh, otherwise I lose to Pedon pretty much. Uh, so I need to make sure it's in the back so that I can bring it in after he brings in his uh, thing. And uh, Mentz is just going to go back into Yevatol because I don't want to get T-waved. As he Mega Evolves and fakes out the Yevatol slot and uh, T-waves that slot as well. So that was pretty much a free switch for Pharaoh, which is nice. This turn, uh, I'm just trying to kill the Thundee. Like, <laughs> I'm really just trying to kill the Thundee as he swaggers again and pups my Pharaoh, which is really scary because now he's a plus one instead of minus one although I still do have Intimidate in the back I finally break through and Dark pulls the Thundee so the Thundee is dead and Pharaoh gets fully paired on a Gyro Ball into Kanga so at this point I'm feeling pretty comfortable with my position uh, I'm just going to double target the Kanga because uh, it really just it's not likely that it has Protect uh, as he power up punches into Yevatol and fortunately, uh, I live, <laughs> I live, and uh, I get the Dark Pulse off after breaking through Confusion, and I don't get parried. And uh, that's going to be game, because I have full health Ogre in the back. So really, the only way he could win that is, like, I don't think he could win. Because <laughs> I had Mence as well. Um, I had Mence and Ogre. So, yeah, guys. Uh, these are just some of my thoughts on the VGC meta. Uh, I've enjoyed playing with this team. Uh, I, I'll be honest, I, I took a couple of the sets from uh, Aaron Zhang's team, uh, in particular the um, Smeargle set, because I thought it was really interesting how it could support Mons, and then I just kind of built from there. Um, and. I think I also took uh, Scald Ogre because that was kind of interesting instead of Origin Pulse. It can't miss and you can uh, do stuff around Wide Guard which you can't really do with uh, regular uh, Origin Pulse Ogre. So yeah, if you like this, drop a like, drop a comment, they're greatly appreciated and uh, see you all next time. Peace. Don't, don't, don't